to go ahead and have you push on the B drive button. to advanced swath tools on the right. And this will divide your screen into two parts which we have to go through. The first part is boundary on the left. And notice on the right hand side it, it shows you how far from the center of your GPS to the edge of the planter is. So uh, this planter it's 11 foot and that should always stay that way but the arrow right next to it will change depending on which direction you're going around the field so right now it's pointing to the right and we look out to the side of the planter and that's that's the way the boundary is but uh, I want to show you go ahead and push on that 11 foot button if it's not right we can go ahead and push on it and we could flip this boundary right here to the other side of the tractor if we want it this field, we need to be on the right, so we can hit enter. And uh, so right now, let, let's back up just a little bit from getting the corner. Basically in this field, we're going to start right here in the corner by the road. And the rows are along the road and we're not going to have, we don't have to drive along the road. We're not worrying about the swap control there. So we're going to go around the field, go in this direction, and we're going to drive three sides of it. And we get back to the, to the part by the road and then we'll hit the end of the boundary and it'll connect. We won't have to drive all the way down along the road. So let's go ahead and hit uh, record field boundary. Notice that there's two boundaries here. One that we can record. One's a field boundary, and one's an inner boundary. Inner boundary we only use if we're planting in a circle and we're going to make a boundary around the pivot and we plant the rest of the field. So inner boundaries plant everything outside of the boundary we're making. Field boundaries plant everything that's inside of the boundary. Go ahead and push on the record, field boundary, and we're ready to start driving. Everything that we drive now will make a boundary on the outside of the field. Okay, when you start out, just make sure that the line and the arrow is going the direction you're going. So let's go ahead and take off. And if it's not, then there's a change direction button. You have to cancel your recording change the direction you're going. Sometimes it gets confused if you ever go backwards. But right now we got to go in the right direction. Okay, we've completed our circle and we've kind of made sure we drew, drove out of the, the way for the rows that are straight. We'll come over here and I'll show you the map. And one thing to note is if you ever have a pivot or a wheel line or something in the way, you can pause that recording, go around it, light up, resume, and it'll auto-connect. But let's go ahead and hit end field boundary right now, and it will connect this line here on the top. So we group connected, and all that inside there that's yellow now is what we'll plan. So we need to make one step now. We're going to go back a screen, and we're going to go into headlands. And right now, it says headland width 44 feet. So from the outside of the field, how far in do we want the, the swath control to be? We're going to say 44 feet, and we're going to create that. And you'll notice the green line that goes around it. If you, you want a swath control to the very outside, like on your on your ends of the field or something, you can just remove it, or you can add it. Okay. So once the outside is there, you can remove or add that headland or change your headland. We're going to hit enter here, and we're going to come back here to the row flow or B drive control page, and we'll see our control plan. And we can uh, now X out any of the things that we don't want to swap control to. So the very first pass along the edge, we need to X out simulated headlands, 
or we need to turn swap control off, one or the other, because that simulated headland is in 44 feet all the way around the edge of the field. And once you've X that out and you've changed it, we need to hit save control plan so that it'll actually get saved and it'll show you here what your control plan is, what the things that you're swap controlling to. So map recovery just is where you've already planted, anywhere it's planted or a field boundary or inner boundary are the things that we'll swap control and then as soon as we get in one or two passes then we'll turn on the simulated headlands. So if you push on the map button on the side you'll get this little map and I'll show you the gray line to the green line where it's supposed to start planting at. So let's back up a little bit so that we have room to turn on. So the edge of the planter right now is right at the edge. Set it down and we'll take off. We'll start painting right where it turns on at. Set it down. showed you how to draw a boundary around the outside of the field and use a simulated headland so that basically we can plant the end rows last so that we don't drive over something we've already planted and uh, so if, if you want to do that that's a simulated headland situation and just remember that when you get done planting your straight rows and you want to plant that headland you have to either shut off your swap control switch so that basically everywhere you plant now, it will plant. Or you need to go into your swap control. And, and because I'm not with the planter right here in this situation now, you could uh, then turn back on your simulated headlands again there. Either one, turning off your swap control, which makes it plant every time that you turn it, set your planter down, or go back into swap control and turn on your simulated headlands again. And then it would basically not plant where there's map coverage if you do that situation. One other thing I want to point out here that uh, if you have a field, I get asked a lot of times, what if I don't want to uh, plant one end of the field but I do the other, I want to drive clear through the end or whatever. So a simulated headland, uh, we drove the boundary, you need to have a headland all the way around the whole field. But if you're only wanting to do a, a boundary in a certain part and have the planter shut off in a certain section of the field or in the middle of the field or just one end, boy, boy, there is a, a really slick way to do that. And that is in advanced swap tools and there's this drop coverage button and it, it's going to come up and say normal, which means draw coverage is, is you're, you're only going to map where you're actually putting seeds at. And if we turn it to always, even if the planter is raised in the air, it's going to map, as far as the 2020 is concerned, that it's planted wherever you, if I take off and drive right now, it's gonna map like it's being planted. So it's simulating that it's being planted, and so uh, your 2020 will then swap control off in that area, wherever you drive and how the planter's uh, set up. So if you use this function, just remember to, uh, you need to go back to normal to shut it off, to stop recording. And, uh, but anyway, that will be a, a great tool in some situations for you. Uh, anyway, that's basically everything I think you need to know to, to use swap control in your planner. And you can always use your manual buttons in the middle, depending how they're programmed for your particular planner. But uh, there's three sections there that you can shut individual sections off and then everything else will be automatic in the, in the monitor. So thank you.